Thank you very much. Shall shine forth as the sun in the earth, and shall drive away all the darkness from the world under heaven, and there shall be peace in all the earth. He shall be magnified in the world until his ascension. He shall shine forth as the sun in the earth, and shall drive away. All darkness of the world and the heaven shall be peace in the earth. Okay. And he shall be made in the world until the earth. He shall shine forth of the sun in the earth. The sun in the earth. Yes, that's right. And shall drive away all darkness yes, right. from the world and the heaven. And there shall be peace in yes. the earth. This is another one. This is a science. The research team, which includes Nearly 40 physicists reported that the Milagro, positioned at an altitude of 8,600 feet in the Jamez Mountains, detected a signal along the galactic equator region and interpreted it as with arising from gamma rays from within. Now,
So now that's different. I didn't save it like that. See the D E A D. I then changed it. We should have another one identical to that. Is this in your archives, is it? I've saved them, yeah, that's I downloaded. And it was one of those ones that haven't difficulty downloading. Right. So I thought, aha. Uh -huh. So that's why I've got this new one to uh, Here. That little mirror. We yeah. still got it? Yep. Let's see if I can capture something yeah. with that. The reason is that the uh, screen capture doesn't work at the same time as this. I want to show you what it is. I had it. Don't worry. Dead Sea Scrolls, there's the book of Levi. Levi is a high priest. And it has been suppressed. I just found it. So I'm going to read what it is, and then we'll do a screen caption. Where did you find it? Um, what I've been doing is I've had difficulty downloading anything. So I put the other downloader in there. But it gives you all this advertising crap that goes with it. Mm. So, um, let's see. I'm just telling the kids about this thing I found. Now, I never break a promise. 
Well, then where's my pony? Is that the one I've got to say there? Just put in there right now. Clock. Oh, here's the bloody clock. Right? See what I'm <laughs> All right. Save that because the time now is what. Well, actually, it's eight fifty-five. What's going on? Your your computer is. On the My right computer's out of here. So it's eight fifty-five no, now. Eight fifty-five. Yeah. You know yeah. what eight fifty-five is? Yeah, of course. Turn right. Tomorrow. For Bethlehem, 17th of June, 2 BC, and for Sydney, 11th of January, 1944. Now. Oh, you can't do the uh, colon, babe. Oops. Like 50 files, eh? Now. This is what I'm going to read you from the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Now what they're doing is getting kids <coughs> to play games online to shoot people and get points and get babies in particular to get more points. And uh, this has been popping up beside what we've been doing. <coughs> Okay, so now, let's get rid of that. Now, here's our 35th layer. You see that? We turn the light off. Maybe oh. Yeah. So what it's saying is a medium energy of 3.5 trillion electron volts or 3500 times the mass energy of a proton. So if, a gamma, ray, if gamma rays cannot be, this is just one of the things I'm saving here, right? Detected until they hit an object that would explain why our planet is getting the observers claim to have detected these gamma rays, meaning they are hitting the Earth already, slowing his ascension, as written in the Testament of Libby, 118, 1118. And then a new sun will shine from within the Earth. Will our planet get that hot? God will destroy the Earth with fire and brimstone, then he will rebuild a new Earth from the ashes. Could December 21, 2012 be the final day of judgment? Only time will tell. Why would our planet go through a pole shift and what would cause it every 11 years or so? Our sun's magnetic field flips. Scientists are still wondering why it happened and how can the pole shift be predicted. Right, so let's get out of there for a minute. And uh, I'll make that. This is what your kids are seeing. And above that, that's demons behind it. The demons have a gun on them down here. It says war with Iran, very bad idea. Or a terrible idea. No, we'll get rid of that. There it is again. Now I saved several paints and
So if you can see that. W written in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Testament of Levi. He's a high priest. God said, in the end, a new star will shine in heaven. It will bring forth the light of knowledge and all evil will be driven from the planet forever. But there's a price. Where are we? Where So you can see it. Is that one? No. What's that one? Now there's one there. And where are they going now? These are all the Levi. Okay. This is my one. Written in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Testament of Levi. God said, in the end, a new star will shine in heaven. It will bring forth the light of knowledge and all evil will be driven from the planet forever. Now that one... This is uh, Levi 1.1.18. He shall be magnified in the world until his ascension. He shall shine forth as the sun in the earth and shall drive away all darkness from the world under heaven. And there shall be peace in all the earth. The research team, which included nearly 40 physicists, reported that Milagro, positioned at an altitude of 8,600 feet, in the Jamaz Mountains, detected signal along the galactic equator region and interpreted as arising from gamma rays with, and it goes on of course, point being the uh, 8600 number is the date when I was that age, when uh, Tracy was conceived. I had, I had a tired day today and I was in a deep sleep twice and I woke uh, when my little sweetie came to wake me up. And I was dreaming about Tracy. And I told you yeah. everything. <clears throat> what I want to tell you about Tracy, um, I never felt such intense love as I did when I first saw her. And um, that was at um, 8.54 a.m. Uh, in Port Albany. On the date of her birth, which was? Uh, that was when all the planets lined up in 2004, but the date was 1968, May the 4th. May the 4th, yeah. He shall be magnified in the world until his ascension. Now, this of course can apply now, or it can apply to Jesus then because this is written before. Mm. Right? But logically, he says, he shall shine forth as the sun in the earth and shall drive away all darkness from the world under heaven and there shall be peace in all of the earth, meaning that it's an ascension now because the only way that we will become... Um, Keep the camera right. Uh, we will become known throughout the world as to ascend. Mm. However, I can't change that. Not 
เตยมาไม่ได้ไดไไดไดไดไ So, got some remarks there, Dylan? Well, he shall shine forth as the sun in the earth, and shall drive away all darkness from the world under heaven. And this, well, obviously, it's now because it hasn't been accomplished. The world still is still in darkness and still in war. He shall be magnified in the world until his ascension. Well, it means that you have to be magnified in the world until. Then I can a s c e n d Then you can a s c e n d Oh, it's okay. That's why I've said then, nothing all these years. Huh? And then we. That's what pisses everybody off. <laughs> 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 and then we can ascend. No, it has to be. Got it. Absolutely. You're not going anywhere without me, and I'm not going anywhere, anywhere without you. <laughs> so I, I just um, was outside there, and I. Well, that that is really interesting, though. So. Um, well, I was talking with John Lynch today, and. Uh, So if you're going to get rid of us, you're going to have to get the world perfect. Yeah, absolutely. We attend, you, right? you want to get rid of us? You want to, you know? Then the world has to be in total peace, all evil off the earth. So you know, it's up to you. I said to John, it's up to the children now. I I um, I don't know whether we actually got this one up or not, but it's talking about my sister when she had um, lost her husband. He died of a massive. Heart attack, I think, or a stroke. But his family was notorious. He's come from about 11 children. They all died young. I think the only one remaining was Freddie. And um, 45 years of age, Ian, 17th of January, I think it was, or the 7th. He um, died at work. Actually, a terrible s h o c k And my sister was naturally destroyed. And when I went to see her, um, I arranged all the funeral, everything like that. And uh, three days after he died, he came back to see her. So on the third day, he rose from the dead. He walked into the room. He had the same shorts on and the same. Spot of blood. Uh, I think I'm s p o r i n g Three days growth of stubble, and uh, we're only short. To be lovely, and he leaned over and kissed my sister, and said, "I'm sorry, love. I had to go." And he got up, walked down, and out the room. And was gone. You know, Dave, what I was talking about. Him? No, three days. Three days, right? Three days. <laughs> well, now we're at the three yeah, days. We're at the three days, absolutely. And that is now. It's happening now because mm. it's what nine eleven. Nine eleven. So in England, at nine eleven, at so this moment, is 11, the twenty third, eleven eleven. No, it's the twenty second there. Twenty second. It's the twenty second. Tomorrow is the twenty third oh, for us. Okay. okay, I'll take it all back. <laughs> well, let me just read to you what because um, this confirms what I was uh, saying to John. <sighs> so basically, we ain't leaving until we get it right. Oh yeah, exactly. And it's ruled with a rod of iron. But eventually we will go. Um, mm-hmm. 
used to run around, fly around all over the place. But not quite like that. Not like that. No. Okay, uh, again, <laughs> this is, um, again, this is the conversation with John. Um, can we... Put the one on. Yeah, turn, turn the one off behind and put this one on here just to... Uh, turn this. Right, uh, okay, that'll do. That'll do? That will do. Uh, Adam, Adam, <laughs> he saw this in last night's upload, the Astra Award, and uh, he said, was that a bottle of scotch on, on the table? What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> anyway, it turned out to be this. This is uh, nudie <laughs> coconut water, 100% pure tropical, with uh, you know little coloured stones in it. That's what you feed your newborn babies to get rid of yeah, all these terrible juice. bloody oh, yeah. um, coconut water vaccinations they give you. All right, clean it all out. Yeah. Anyway, so no, it wasn't okay. a bottle of scotch. Have you ever? It's called boo in Fiji. Yeah, boo, B-U. All right, all right, skip that. Now, John. So this is this is the conversation. John says, I had a thought today, laugh out loud, and I go, just one? <laughs> laugh out loud. Then he says, what would God look like? <laughs> then I said, the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> and now, bearing in mind, John, John this will be news to you because I, I actually couldn't communicate it to you. What was happening was, John was writing, and then I was responding to it, but our posts were going, uh, the posting of them were all out of sync. They were not following the thread. And it was only later I went back and found more answers there that he typed in that didn't come up for me at the time. Anyway, you probably expect, but anyway. Okay, uh, he says that, that this is where it's weird because I saw first, what I saw first was your son. And I, I, I respond to that, him too and then husband and son, and, and you know, I'll think about Adam. Um, but he'd actually, before he said your son, he actually had, yes, father, son. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll just read, uh, read through because it only, then he says we are all Yah. I said yes, from the father, he is the re re originator, you know, origins of species, were you looking at him? Um, he is the originator of us all. He's the creator. In the beginning, there was the one. And his thought, I came from his thought. And then he says, I love you guys so much. He, he said, John says, he created us no less than him as we create our children no less than us. And then I still didn't get that. I've gone on to, I said, on the earth, where he has come to live amongst his creation, family. And of course, you need a, a father and mother to create children, which confirms what he'd already written, but I hadn't read. Son of God, then, son of man. The place of rest is the earth. He had to have a way of getting here, like in the beginning when there was just him. As I thought, that's why you know, he was the babe in the womb, thinking... Oh, what out? Oh, how am I going to get out of here? So he had to have a way of getting here. So his thought, the thought of the perfect mother and father, then it took off the fizzy bottle opening the cap off. Once you had the thought, then it's a, he keeps calling it a, you know, the, the runaway, with the bottle of beer, the uh, fuzz that goes everywhere, it's, it's escaped and it's come a runaway train, hasn't it, babe? Mm. Um, then John said, uh, I asked a young man today what God would look like, and of course he said, I don't know. And then I think he, he said, I sent your son, I'm not sure what he... And that he must have meant, I said, your son. <laughs> but I continue on. So down through time on the earth, the testing of man, the ones who are not made in his image, have been in control. As you know, his message has been, if you want to see God, go and look in the maternity ward window. You're looking at God. <laughs> and then also, if you want to see a demon, take a look in the mirror. Demons are all man-made. He, as the comforter, he promised he would send, was himself all grown up this time. He has to be rejected by all mankind to fulfil the prophecy. And then once all prophecy is fulfilled, it's game over, Rover. The people who make it through the angels, 
that we're talking because the angels are the reapers, will wake up to him. All good. Everyone is forgiven. All have been deluded by the sons of the devil. The Jews who call themselves Jews and are not, and they are the ones that are not forgiven. The prophecy of the pyramid finishes on his 69th birthday, which is the 70th week of Daniel, is his lifetime of 69 Gregorian years, or 70 Hebrew years, because of the, the days. There's uh, 360 days in a Hebrew year, 365.2424 in a Gregorian year. So the mission of the Comforter is to explain all things to man who has forgotten who he is. If you are told you are God, if you grow up with the knowledge that you are God, your mind kicks in to being responsible and behaving like God and not the devil. Uh, and then John says, I had the greatest laughter I've had ever had today when, when I realised that we are God. And then he says, but I, but I already knew it. I, I said, it's time for awakened man. This is where it leads to what Yah was talking about. It t it's time for awakened man to take over the rising of the righteousness of God in man to take over. And then he goes, laugh out loud, yes ma'am. <laughs> Sounds like Adam, <laughs> yes ma'am. I said, all things that offend have to be overturned. And then John says, sometimes it pays to listen to your father. I said, definitely. And he has the last say and rules with a rod of iron in order to protect his future children from experiencing the evil that the generations before them allowed to reign. It's all about protecting his, our children. And as a mother, I, I can put it very simply, and I've got in quotation marks, all capital, there will be no bad attitude, behaviour or disrespect allowed in my home. And the earth is our temple. Then John says, and again, this didn't come through until after I finished, he says, I commend Father, you, <laughs> job well done. And then I'm continuing in the same vein, capital letters, nothing will be allowed into my home that I find offensive. If my child cannot watch or listen, then no way, Jose. So what are we talking about? We are talking about Hollywood, run by the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not. They are the offense to all of the world. They are the abomination that makes desolate. And they have. They have made desolate all of the West. So, what's it all about, Alfie? The children must be safe from all that is offensive and be allowed to grow up and remain innocent. And then John says, Yah told me that in my second dream. And I go, well, he gets it from me. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, I raised Adam and his three sisters that way. And, and I did. I had a hard time preventing you know, their father from bringing uh, things into the home that offended me. And I'm talking about movies that were violent, these action drama movies, sometimes five or six at night time. got to be kidding. Bring oh, into the home... Uh, oh, th yeah, that was until he, he stopped drinking. Actually, he'd go somewhere and be out for hours drinking and then come home with these movies and stuff. And, you know, it, Adam can testify. I'd be out like a lot. But it, it, it literally, it offended me. And what I was trying to do was to protect the children because they knew I from a very young ages. I mean, they knew about Santa Claus <laughs> when that, Ali and Aaron were three and four. Because they asked me, they came to me knowing that I would tell them the truth. They said, Mum, please tell us the truth. We want to know the truth about Santa Claus. So what am I going to do? <laughs> I told them the truth. Hello. Well, did I get into trouble for that all of my married life? I was accused of destroying 
this, that, and the other, and oh my God, it went on and on and on. Children appreciate the truth. They do not like fairy stories being led to believe that they are real. Give them credit. They are adults in, in small children's bodies. They are mature souls and they need the truth so that they can grow up discerning truth from fiction. So anyway, my children appreciated the truth. Didn't stop us celebrating Christmas. I mean, they knew what it was all about. That Santa, you know, they, they knew what it was all about but in just enjoyed joining in the spirit that it uh, the spirit of Christmas amongst friends and family and that, that giving that um, my children certainly always had anyway. And because we had so very little most of the time, which was all good because they appreciated the Christmases that, we, <laughs> that were in abundance. And then the, the Christmas, there was one Christmas there when we were living in um, Richmond where they did not get a single present from us because we could not afford it. However, Ali had been had started working and she helped the, the four of them um, buy us each a gift and, and give towards their friends and things like that. And that meant more to them and us, of course, than any other Christmas that had been in abundance. See, I, I grew up where we had very little with the necessities of life. And Christmas was always, you know, uh, just two, the, the, the present from mum and dad and then the, the present from Santa, which would be some small thing, because my father worked really what do you hard. Mean <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> so that's what it's all about. It's about oh, seriously. <laughs> Honey, you can be Santa if you like. <sighs> I'm dreaming of a wife. Oh, did that one make So anyway, that's, so that's what it was all about. Now I, I write down now nothing that will offend, because it's all about protecting the children, and I, also that goes with food, water. We're, not only is it Hollywood regarding movies, but we're talking about these video games. Uh, not a single video game. No child needs to be sitting in front of a computer for hours at a time playing anything. Back outside after the air has been purified again and well organised children's games, playing with mum and dad because dad won't be having to work his butt up to support them. Neither will mum. Everybody will. You're recording this one. Oh, it's on here, isn't it? No, I haven't got it in here. I can't. Uh, Screen capture. So, uh, well, we'll yes, it was 9.22 on the 12th of 22nd, 2012. It's 11 minutes past the crossing over. Oh, right. And one day. Mm. 11 minutes and one day. Mm. Today's the 22nd. It's not the 23rd. Why is the date? Why is that date? I don't change it at all. I, I know. What? <laughs> okay, it's showing the 23rd. It does it all the time. Oh. Well, let me change it back 10 times. Yeah, look, on mine it's 9.23, I'm still on the 22nd, which is the correct time. Oh, anyway, so I'll keep going. So we're talking about things that don't affect. That includes food, diet. Now, Adam was diagnosed... Vaccination. Uh, vaccinations, all, all of that. Propaganda. Gone. History. The, the world will be released into having the knowledge where you can look after yourself and your family without doctors and, uh, you know, doctors are there just for stitching people up after, you know, accidents, things like that. That's it. Um, uh, so, yeah, so food. Be educated. Yeah, so everybody needs re-education. All families can be educated to look after themselves and doctors re-educated so that they, they become nutritionists and, and, and be trained holistically. That's all David Rockefeller. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, so because Adam was a, a diabetic from nine, and I blamed his father, uh, who used to bring a game, something I never uh, enjoyed as a child because we simply couldn't afford it. We had milk, water, and, and good solid food, that was it. There were no sweets or sugar, which of course turns your body into an acid dump. And then, uh, so we go to North America, and every household in, in that. Soda pop, is that what you call it? Soda, whatever, full of sugar, it kills you. And so, you know, the children's father would bring it home night after night and they'd say to him, don't bring it home, if it's not in the house, they can't have it. And then the, and after Adam was diagnosed with diabetes, now the doctors will say, oh, it's got nothing to do with the sugar, it does. They lie, they just do not know. 
body is full of acid when it's drinking down this sugar, creates an environment where you have a genetic predisposition to it, which is what Adam did. It ran in the family, the fourth child. So Adam could have gone for years and years, up plus a, a trauma. So anyway, and uh, so these things, children need to be protected from. Let's go back to Santa Claus. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ben. Well, you know, you can hang out for him in another three nights and see if he turns up, you know. <laughs> all right, so that was all part of it. So, uh, yeah, we, we covered vaccines and food and nothing to offend the eyes, the ear. No, coming out of the mouth, all of this thing, nothing to offend. Like that. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, so that's what we were talking about. Uh, it's all about what to, will not be allowed. Oh, here, here, and here we go. I said, thank you for the accolades for Yah. Uh, Yah, we love you too. He, I said, he deserves a lot of rest and peace while his children take over the running of his creation the way it should be. That is the Sabbath of God or the rest of God when his children can run the family business without him coming down off his mountain <laughs> where he has all of the toys that he can play with like helicopters and planes and things, the fruit of his children's <laughs> invention. He wants to rest and have the children come to visit with the grandchildren and be there for counsel when needed. And then I just, you know, I said, oh, I'm the other, other hand, want to be visiting the nations and making sure they have everything that they need, but Yah says the nations will come to us. It's all good. So that's what it's all about. It's exactly what Yah said. When the world is running right, when the children of God rise up, overturn what has been allowed to go on, knowing that you are the sons and daughters of, of God, that you are God in the flesh. Right? You're not the I am. The I am is this dude, but you are the all from the two of us. So once you guys kick in today, then yeah. Hello. So it depends on you. How long you have us around. <laughs> because I tell you, <laughs> he's not going anywhere without me. Now he shall be magnified in the world until his ascension. He shall shine forth as the sun in the earth, and shall drive away all darkness from the world under heaven, and there shall be peace in all the earth. <laughs> They've got a thousand years to get it right. Mm. So on a big boat, take about four or five ten thousand people. Yes. Got my name written on the side of it. Yeah. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, well, yeah, we want a big boat because we want to be able to cruise and uh, pick people up all around the world and, and uh, treat them all to some uh, fun, healing, restoration, plans and purposes for the nations and council. Right? And it really is do it Yahweh's way. There's no choice in the matter. No, that's ruling with a rod of arm. Not an election. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you do what he says and all is good. He has the veto. If he says no, it's no. No argument. That's it. Right? Right. Okay. Right, said Fred. Oh, and of course the Persians rebuild the temple. Mm. For all. Russia's got to go nations. in and occupy Jerusalem. Yeah. For all of the nations. Just put my name on the badge and. Asher on the other side. <laughs> Free pass. <laughs> There's no fee for admission. <laughs> the unpronounceable gods come. The unpronounceable gods. Blugum. Blugum. Blugum from Tugum. Okay, is that it? That's it. So we'll talk to you later, guys. Well, you got the 111 and the 18. Yes. Now, you yes. should be able to dig that up on the internet somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, Levi, just type in Levi. Le one, one, Levi, one, yeah. Dash one eight. Did you do the gematria on it at all? No, I'm done. Oh, okay. Right. 
Leben. Okay, hey. Oh, I've gone out of it. I've gone yeah, out of it. Yeah, you're in the Bible, Oh. Yeah, that's it. It was Levine. Should be love. Oh. And Levi was, uh, I think, the father of. Uh, yeah, Simon Peter, wasn't he? Levi. 69 references. Hello! Which one do you want to go to? The last one? What have you one? Okay. Revelation 7 7. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of course. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Zebulon? 12,000. Joseph was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. So we're talking about the uh, 144,000. That's the last one. Anywhere else? Good go. go back to the Old Testament or to the New Testament? The Gospel. Wasn't Levi the father of Judith? Judith. Yes, he was. He was the one that actually caused the crucifixion. He talked uh, his son into uh, putting the ultimate test on, thinking that I would work miracles to get out of it. <coughs> and as it turned out... Uh, okay, the first one is in Mark 2.14. Okay. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the receipt of custom, and said unto him, Follow me. So he arose and followed him. So but, Levi was getting his son to do what the Lord had told him to do. The Levites, they were the priests, high priests, and... Uh, priests. They, uh, of course, studied the Talmud, Mishnah, and uh, it was the Herodians that conspired to uh, cause the crucifixion, and they were the Essenes. They lived on the Herodian way, that's what they call them, Herodians. You're looking up in your Bible, Herodian. They thought shall I say, Herod was going to liberate them from the Romans. That's one of the rumours they put out to justify the Essene community. Okay. Anything else? Can we go further in there? Well, we'll just go back one. Old back. Testament 3. 33, go back eh? Old Testament. We'll just go. Tap, tap, thing. Going forward. We'll do that one. Control, tap. Oh, control, tap. Shift tab. You get it? Okay. Malachi 3.3. 3. And he sat as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. And isn't that what I just said to John? Yeah. Rise up in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in the former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So, of course, the ones who are occupying the lump of dirt called Israel today, practice all of these things. The ones that call themselves Jews and are not saying that God has chosen them, they practice all of these things. 
I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, you know, witchcraft, magicians, you know, wizards, all, all of the sorcery, satanic um, filth that they've been to, and against the adulterers and against false swearers. Well, of course, Talmud is all about lying and deception and uh, adultery and, and promoting adultery and uh, causing wherever they are and whatever they influence through media, Hollywood, they cause others around them to become adulterers. And against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. Well, they're renowned for not paying wages. Just ask Claudia. Working in Poland, they're working her guts out 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And in Fiji, yes. Yep. Cents for wages, cents per hour. They can't live. It's not enough you know, to, to pay rent and have to buy food and then transportation to the, the job that they've got. And it's well, they do take them back by bus to the place where they picked up where the thieves can. can oh, yeah. well, that's in New Guinea. Yeah, that's in New Guinea. Fifty dollars. But Claudia didn't people. have that. Ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. She was working for, what, Australian, 80 cents per hour, 12 hours a day, in Poland, Jews. Oppress the hireling in his wages, the father and the fatherless. Well, just look at how most of the governments, I mean, America is uh, their social welfare systems disgusting, they're non existent. Australia's are far better, at least here you can live if you're unable to care for yourself, but, um, and the government does. Just take it off your straw, man. I'll give you. Well, well, totally. Yeah. Just give thinking? you a receipt. Yeah. They, when they pay a receipt you, receipt because they're dipping into your straw, man. When they pay you, they give you a receipt, mm -hmm. not the other way around. Because they've taken off your straw, man. Yeah. Dipped into your account. You're a security on the stock market. And that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear me not. Well, you know the Jews are renowned for living in their ghettos and not. Not even accepting help from somebody out because they're goy. They've been so brainwashed. Total abomination. Anyway, so that's what it's all about. Want to go further back or? Yeah, we're going. One more. Is there any in Isaiah? Let's see. Malachi two eight. Well, look up on the internet and see if you can find uh, Levi one 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 eighteen because they've suppressed it out of Dead Sea Scrolls. Because of what it says there, that would have floored him right now. Okay, so look on the net. Okay. Also it says there'll be no need of the sun there. Right? He shall shine forth as the sun in the earth, and shall drive away all darkness from the world under heaven. So the nuclear fusion rate of the sun is 657 million tons of helium, hydrogen into helium. 2.5 million tonne is uh, heat and light, leaving the remainder as helium. And uh, that is how many times the word Lord is found versatile in the New Testament. From the Forgotten Books of Eden, Testament of Levi. A copy of the words of Levi, the things which he ordained under his sons according to all. Um, how about you put that in as 111-118. Well, no, I've got it. Oh, it's here. Right, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sacred text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Testament of Levi. So, the third son of Jacob and Leah. Mm. The spirit of understanding of the Lord came upon me, and I saw all men corrupting their way, their way, and that unrighteousness had built for itself walls, and lawlessness sat upon towers. And I was grieving for the race of the sons of men, and I prayed to the Lord that I might be saved. Then there fell upon me a sleep, and I beheld a high mountain, and I was upon it. And behold, the heavens were open, and an angel of God said to me, Levi, enter. And I entered from the first heaven, 
And I saw there a great sea hanging. And further I saw a second heaven far brighter and more brilliant, for there was a boundless light also therein. And I said to the angel, Why is this so? And the angel said to me, Marvel not at this, for thou shalt see another heaven, more brilliant and incomparable. And when thou hast ascended thither, thou shalt stand near the Lord, and shalt be his minister, and shalt declare his mysteries to men, and shalt proclaim concerning him that shall redeem Israel. And by thee and Judah shall the Lord appear among men, saving every race of men. Of course, this is as Jesus. This is what it was accomplished as Jesus. And from the Lord's portion shall be thy life, and he shall be thy field and vineyard and fruits, gold and silver. Hear therefore regarding the heavens which have been shown to thee. The lowest is for this cause gloomy unto thee, in that it beholds all the unrighteous deeds of men. And it has fire, snow and ice made ready for the day of judgment. Is this not what we're talking about now? Adam was saying this morning there's just ice. It's been what is it, read? Um, 18. Go read 11 again. And further I saw a second heaven, far brighter and more brilliant, for there was a boundless light also therein. So that is uh, Levi 1 and 1, 1, 1, 1. Yeah. So this has been suppressed uh, from the Dead Sea Scroll. Now it continues. And in the second are the hosts of the armies which are ordained for the day of judgment to work vengeance on the spirits of deceit and of Belial. And above them are the holy ones. And in the highest of all dwelleth the great glory, far above all holiness. In the next heaven to it are the archangels who minister and make propitiation to the Lord for all the sins of ignorance of the righteous, offering to the Lord a sweet-smelling savour, a reasonable and a bloodless offering. And in the heaven below this are the angels who bear answers to the angels of the presence of the Lord. And in the heaven next to this are thrones and dominions in which always they offer praise to God. When therefore the Lord looketh upon us, all of us are shaken. Yea, the heavens and the earth and the abysses are shaken at the presence of his majesty. But the sons of men, having no perception of these things, sin and provoke the Most High. Now, the agenda of the New Age, the New World Order, um, Lady Gaga and whatever religion it is, is it Gaia? No idea. I know, I'm not asking you, babe. Anybody else there offer it? Or, or, or uh, she's, she's mother, is she mother Gaga or mother Gaia? What about when I was in Nimbin? Oh, oh, goddess. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we right. was invited to go to the radio station. Yeah. And uh, we got some a hash cookie. And uh, the first time, Ash <gasps> ate a quarter of it. <laughs> now, normally you take one bite, you don't eat a bloody quarter of it. Well, I didn't even eat a quarter. I think you're right, only supposed to take what? a bite. Well. So, but yeah, first you can't say a word when we're on radio, right? Mm. You're sitting there, mute. Mute, absolutely. I, I knew so what was being said. I mean, being interviewed by a guy <laughs> named Michael uh, Boulderstone. Boulderstone. <laughs> like Boulderstone. Yeah. And there's this other strange looking fellow there, and he, I thought he was part of the uh, the program. Well, he was. It was yeah, his but I thought program. he worked there. 
know, oh, I see what you mean. Yep. So uh, we're sitting there, and this guy's making s comments, which nothing made any sense to me what he's talking about. So I was just talking to Michael about how we'd come over to stop the H1N1 flu. We went up to Yuridumu, and uh, where there was supposed to be a reported death, and when we got the ACO taken over. Yeah. And uh, they did keep the bottles of silver water for themselves. And all that. Yeah. <laughs> so as it turned out, an angel had said that the day before he had been up there and have had a tire problem and an old lady had been there for 30 years, the only white woman at Black Territory, mm. you were doing that. And to say thanks. To Brenda. <laughs> yeah. So when we get there, there's this great big fat turd and his wife, <laughs> digging them, federal coppers or ACA probably. And they say, oh no, we've been here for a long time. Eight, eight, eight old lady. Yeah. Anyway, so that, this is the radio, and then Yah was talking about all kinds of things, you know, what we've done in Fiji and AIDS and all. Well, in the meantime, this uh, well, I just did a mini launch as much as I can remember you told me to say. <laughs> I didn't tell you anything I was going to speak. But I'd read the program before we got there, and I knew that this guy... You he didn't tell me. No, I didn't tell you. Hey, by the time, I couldn't speak. But I just <laughs> knew that this guy was one who channeled... Can you point to the program? Goddess. Got it. And um, so I'm sitting there mute, hearing everything that's going on, and this idiot is channeling these females. Now, this is a man, for goodness sake. Channeling these oh, females. It was quite a handsome man, but channeling uh, these female uh, nuances aimed at you. Oh, oh, Yahweh, you always were a grumpy old man, kind of thing. Now, all right, first of all, you know, and yeah, yeah, I didn't hear them. He didn't understand what he was saying. So he just kept talking. He just, just ignored him like this. In the meantime, I knew, my God, if I, I, I'd have launched right there and then, it would have been on for young and old, you know, <laughs> the war of the goddesses, whatever. As, uh, but I wasn't allowed to. I couldn't speak. But it was amusing to everybody who heard so it. So Lucifer is the female. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, That's who Cain married. Yeah. So anyway, the giants in those days, you know. <laughs> anyway, the was about twenty-two feet old. So we're we're at now we're at the judgment, the consummation of all, and the judgment now. So we've screamed down through history to be here now, having judged the world, forgiven mankind for their ignorance. That's what the cross <laughs> is all about. Otherwise, you'd all be dead meat. However, the ones that are dead meat are the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not. They are not forgiven. So this is why the sons and daughters of uh, God, father and mother, must rise up in, right, in the righteousness of God and overturn what the sons and daughters of the devil have wrought upon the earth, which is hell, for, <coughs> upon, not only your own lives, but the lives of your children. Everything can be reversed, but that's what must happen. And then there will be peace upon the earth all darkness will be driven away from the earth because of our presence, Yahweh's presence, our presence. And um, then it's up to you how long we get to hang around. Now, yeah, um, what did Donnie Gilson say? Donnie, no, he's having it on Sunday. Well, time. The, the, go back to when he said he had a dream. Oh, yeah, Don, Donnie had a dream months ago now. Uh, as you know, he left Reno and all the rest of it. And... Uh, We'd told him from the beginning, the first word out of Vicky's mouth, that she was a demon. She was um, of the devil. And then later he had us on a couple of times, as you know. We told him. I, I typed to him that the uh, stars above, right where you are right now at this point in time, say that you're in a prison. You are not free. You are in a prison. Well, that just resonated with it. And he was. He was in a prison and Vicky was his jailer. So he had a dream once he got away from her got out to uh, the coast, he had a dream and in the dream he let us know that uh, he was on a, like a dock with Yar and they were fishing and it was in Australia and uh, he, Yar says to him, you know, I was right, Donnie, and Donnie says, yes, you were right. So, he was not only right about Vicky, of course, but right about everything. So, Donnie's having his own. Yeah, but what do you say the last communication? Oh, the last Did he talk to somebody today and uh, said, what did God look like? No, that was John and I just read it out. No, all right, what did Donnie say? 
Donny, just said, are we ready for? Um, didn't say to leave now. Well, no, he didn't say that. He di he didn't ever say he didn't. It's just that he changed the date from last week to the twenty third, and uh, all this kind of stuff. In the meantime, I'm launching upon America and the evil. No, God hates evil. That's what it boils down Secrecy. to. He doesn't lie. Li yeah. The, 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 the evil that's being perpetuated, he, he doesn't... Oh, that's what I was getting to. What the New World Order and the, the, the New Age has for you is the uh, um, free love, meaning you love everybody, don't say a word against... This, this is out of Lady Gaga's mouth. You, you will not be allowed to say anything against what it is that other people are doing. Immorality. Immorality, in other words. Free love, or well, free love leads to death. So God is here to whip everybody into shape. No free love, no free will. It got you, you know, into the darkness, gross darkness that covers the earth. You have to have the standard. Well, it's his standard. And it's also the universal law. You cannot escape it. You reap what you sow. And anything against the universal law, which was the perfection of his cre creation from the beginning, and the order of the creation, simply you reap what you sow when you break that law and you do not escape the consequences. So in bringing peace to all of the earth, it's about bringing, establishing the kingdom of God upon the earth because God is upon the earth and it really is about overturning everything that offends God. Not man, but God. He made the rules in the first place. He created Adam and Eve not Adam and Steve. So to the homosexuals who have been forgiven, your ways will need to be mended, re-educated, get the help that you need, whatever. You will be not permitted to practice homosexuality or think that way. The same goes for any other immoral it's practice. Death, that's all. Yes. The angel will take you. Exactly. You're the good. angels are still there, they are, you know, they are ready to take out anybody who tries to buck the Creator. Now, so, that's the warning. All the soldiers in America must come home. Odd, they must come home. Lay down their weapons. This is the all time. become conscientious objectors. Right. This is the yeah. time when all, all the, the, the weapons of war become the, the plowshares. Come back, take over your farmlands that the banks have stolen from the you, the banksters have stolen from you and start growing food for your families and your neighbours. Take back what the enemy has stolen for you, from you. And uh, what else? Well, I have another new uh, magnetic motor for you that uh, gives you high speed and power. Yeah. Or low speed and power. All that's, the that's the problem. And anyone can make it. You don't have to be a scientist. Did we cover all the, all the filth and pornography? Horror movies, sorry. No horror, horror movies coming out of Hollywood. Nowhere. I'll just remind the parents out there that their children online playing these uh, kill games. Oh, the you drones. You can't see it to believe it. Oh. They are controlling the drones that actually do drones. kill people in oh. Pakistan. The Americans don't even, or the uh, Pakistanis for the most part, don't even know what America is. No, they, they, they knew nothing about America until 2004. No, the drones started coming in and killing randomly and, and they're supposedly hunting down terrorists and all the rest. Give us a break. The only terrorists it's have the been the, the American government and the Pentagon. So, you know, we keep hearing about the White Hats and the Pentagon. You guys better be standing up and taking over now, bringing the boys back home and doing what is right. Otherwise, you're going the way of the Jews. There is... Your well, angels uh, well, are... That enterprise, that's got to be brought back to them. Yeah, all of them. All of them, not, move not out. decommissioned. You've got to paint it and put Yahweh on the side of it. Yeah, there you go. Be and a floating museum. Make a medical centre <laughs> go around the world to help everybody. Yeah. Our yeah. protocol. There we go. Yeah. So all of these things, let the righteousness of God be you. must release their women from bondage of a religion. Mm. No man can tell a woman what to do. That's it. Simple. They can't tell her what to wear. They cannot criticise her. She is totally free. And they don't have to recite the bloody Koran. Oh, for goodness sake. That got you here. That's it. Game over. Finish. Take the good bits in it. Keep that. Yeah. It's all about freedom. It's the same with all religions. Take all the good, put it together, and you've got yourself a nice religion. 
if you want a religion. But love is religion, right? Mm. It's love of God, which of course is yourself and each other. Two commandments. They're the ones that Jesus gave. Just those two. When you love God and when you love each other, then you don't go doing anything that you wouldn't do to yourself or to God. Or to your baby. Or to your baby. Exactly. So, freedom. All good. Is it? Mm. But the rod of iron are the angels on standby. Okay. Did I drive that home? <laughs> now the eight four eight six zero zero height. Yes. Was the age I was when I was in Port Alberni and Tracy was conceived and the planet Jupiter was over the head for eight hundred and eighty eight minutes. I just <coughs> want to put that. Can't understand. 